Hello everyone, and uh, I just wanted to chat about one of my students who recently had um, laryngitis, and uh, it's been going on for about three weeks, and it wasn't getting any better, and so I wanted to sh share with you what worked and what helped her out. And um, so she was complaining after about two or three weeks that her she had tightness in her throat <clears throat> right about here and uh, so I was explaining to her what her false folds were and so false folds are uh, basically an, a, pr a protection mechanism that exists right above your true vocal folds so your true vocal folds Mm, are what makes sound and then right above them to help you go to the bathroom <clears throat> and bear down is one purpose of your false folds uh, also to close while you're swallowing so that food goes down the right down the right hole basically <laughs> and mm, so what I want you to do is I want you to feel like you're going to the bathroom doing number two and pushing down that's your false folds closing yeah and your false folds opening is a feeling of silent laughter or panting and that's the feeling of them opening up cool so what i want you to do is feel them close and that's that tightness that you're feeling and then feel the opposite of that feeling feel the opening up of your false folds and then try just doing tiny little little sirens do a few of those and then also think about that in your speaking voice because like when you're when you're feeling like this and your vocal folds are doing that that's your that's your false folds kind of closing over so if you can open them up things should get a lot better so that's tip number one Tip number two is to get yourself um, a glass of water and a straw. And make some bubbles while making sound. And you want to look like, you want to make the bubbles look like they're pasta boiling, yeah? I'm trying to lift up <laughs> so you can see it. There you go. So, sometimes I use a yerba mate straw. So that looks like that. But you just want something to give you a little resistance. And what the what straws straws have been proven to heal your voice yeah so and and speech pathologists use them all the time and basically they help to open up your true vocal fo your false folds and help your true vocal folds to make um better ad adduction so they come together well so you want to you want to do those two things and uh feel the false folds opening while you're doing the water cool so those are my two big tips uh, try those out and see if uh, see if things get better if things aren't getting better then you really do need to uh, go to a, go to a, go to your doctor go to your GP your general practitioner and make a see if you can get into an ENT a local ENT uh, right away they're hard to get into but in the meantime this is uh, something that you can do and uh, you should feel immediate improvement right afterwards in and so if you do this go make sure your spine is nice and straight and then talk right afterwards and go oh my voice is a lot better that means you just got to do a lot of this and being a w really aware of your false folds while you're talking and feeling them open and not squeezing shut because probably what's happened to you is like that protection, the feeling of protection that you've had while you had laryngitis 
and your false folds closing over to protect your, your airway and your voice, they're just getting in the way now. So you need to train them to be open again. There you go. So that is my quick little video to help you out. Uh, you can come to my website, singingwithron.com and uh, check out. I have a daily warm up that I do with my students. It's 10 bucks a month or 10 bucks. Yeah, 10 bucks a month. <laughs> it's really cheap. So you can join and, and uh, ask questions. We have a little question period afterwards. And you can, uh, yeah. And if you like this video, like it down below and uh, subscribe so that um, other people can get this message and uh, hopefully it helps them out just as much as it hopefully helped you. There you go. Thanks, guys.